Hey everyone, here's a recap of the Midjourney office hours from April 17th. The biggest thing they're working on is the upcoming release of model personalization. It's stretched out longer than they planned because it is hard to test out a feature that changes for each person. And the data used to create the personalization can be a little sensitive. So they've been spending time trying to clean up that data. Today or tomorrow they will release a test version of the website Creation Rooms. It might only be available to the 10k club at first, and it will probably start with just one room. They want to shove everybody into one room and see when it breaks. And then as it breaks, they'll start to add more rooms. It's different than a Discord room. The user interface will look different, and it's also subject to change in the future. They don't know if they're on the right path, so they need to do this sort of live test. I found this really cool. Apparently the rooms have text, voice, and creation going simultaneously. I think they will appear in multiple columns so that text doesn't get pushed by the images. And David said something about multiple viewing modes. Honestly, it sounds really cool. The team is still working on a version 6.1 release. We can expect better image quality and better small details and maybe 25% faster generation. They have each feature working individually but have not put them all together yet. They found some side effects and glitches that they need to solve first. David said the image quality boost is more dramatic than he was expecting. They tried to fix small pixel artifacts but instead got something that might improve skin quality eyes, and things of that nature. He said it's hard to say when it will be ready, if he had to guess, two weeks, so maybe we'll see it by the end of the month. David said they probably won't have any more version 6 related features and that they have a clear roadmap for version 7 in terms of better prompt understanding and knowledge as well as better aesthetics. Version 7 will also have much better upscalers apparently. Then they will work on a sort of generation 2 of style and character reference. Also, with regards to the website, once creation rooms are proven to work, they will let people create on the website without Discord accounts, but there might be some sort of waitlist for that. They're also continuing their work on 3D and video. Both are getting better. David said 3D comes down to just data collection, but video seems to require more unknown research as opposed to just a larger model. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It's your subject with lines and colorful gradients in the vector graphic style on a black background in the minimalism and glitch art styles. Design elements and negative spaces in a symmetrical composition with white borders around each shape and a minimalist aesthetic, like a digital collage. I use stylized 40, 100, and 400, as well as Chaos 2, Five, and I created some of these in Niji Journey. Special thanks to Akashi30. I found this prompt over on the Mid Journey website. If you want a better look at some of my pictures, you can follow me over on Instagram at Future Tech Pilot. I'll also be posting some prompts soon over on Twitter. There's your recap of the Mid Journey office hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.